Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Rome, and we're back with some more Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Now, this is the first episode I recorded since returning from my vacation. So it has been over two weeks um, since we've recorded some actively recorded something here. Uh, I think it's been 16, 17 days um, actually since since I have last played on Rogue Trader on this save, and I have the audio on my headphones very, very loud. Let me turn that down a bit. Now, I have continued to play the game uh, on a private save on the laptop at home, um, and I got quite a bit farther than I am here. Um, I've learned a little bit as we go. We'll try to talk about that as we get into it. Um, one of the things I was asked early about was using plasma pistols on characters, uh, and the problem is that to do that, you end up, and I, I didn't know this at the time, or I hadn't noticed at the time, um, you need to actually have a skill to use those weapons. So if we look here, we should find somewhere plasma weapon expert. So he needs a plasma weapon, um, an initial plasma weapon use, equivalent, equ I don't remember what it's called. And then the second level is the expert. But without that initial one, you can't use any of the special weapons. Um, and so that includes uh, plasma, meltas, um, Drukhari, uh, a lot of the Xeno stuff have their own specific requirements as you go along. So we just have to be a little bit more careful about what we do with that. Now we can take some of those skills as we go up. Um, Plasma and Melta are pretty easy to get. Um, other stuff, not so much. Now, um, our main character can mostly use everything we're going to find early on. Uh, I have found a few weapons that they can't use automatically, and in fact, I haven't even seen skills for them to use them. Um, I don't know if the skills that we have in the game at the moment are the skills that we're going to have as we go forward. Um, you know, we don't even know what some of these are. Like, what is PSA? <laughs> what is FAA, right? Um, it doesn't give us a description. So we may see those skills come into the game later on. Um, but in the, in the short term, though, it means that if we don't have it, we can't, we can't take it. Let's hop in here. Uh, we're gonna ignore all of that. I tried to get my next drink opened and started before the loading screen and I failed. All right, let's go ahead. I don't know, who do we have? All right. Uh, okay, I have gotten better about using skills. Um, not all skills, but some skills. Um, let's just kind of run. I'm gonna put you. I'm going to put you there. Oh, that's enough to pop it. All right. Me. All right, Pascal, what do we got going for you here? Um, I'm going to start with uh, study enemies. How many can we get? Uh, we get that many anyway. So now he can use his uh, precision weapon strike. So you can see here, that's gonna get him a, a bonus to Righteous Fury. So I have a 30% Righteous Fury. And it's also gonna knock down uh, five of their deflection. Now these guys probably don't have deflection. Um, can we, let's see, which one are you? You're here, can we right click on you maybe? Uh, we can right click on you, but we can't do much else. Now it says he can't see you right now. Um, I'm going to go to move you to here. And then we'll go ahead. And we also have kill zone. So the strategist defines the area and all attacks against enemies get a plus 10% chance to hit for one round. This is going to take us one AP. This is going to take us one AP. Now, I believe I have the ability where he can take advantage of his own strategies. So we're going to toss that down there just to get ourselves the extra hit chance. We'll go ahead and take the shot. And we missed. Um, it said we had a 57% chance, including everything. Uh, cover hit chance. We rolled a 99, first of all, for so we're going to hit cover no matter what, I guess. Um, Righteous Fury hit check. Hmm. OK, well, I don't know if we got advantage. It does, unfortunately, not break down the hit chance or the damage roll um, very well. And I, I wish it would. Um, I have put in that suggestion, so we'll we'll see what happens. Um, but okay, we we tried. Um, that's the end of your turn. Let's see what we got going on. All right, we are way too ready for grenades and stuff like that. All right, you are going to. What are we going to do with you? If we put you to here, I'm going to put you to here. 
Um, I don't remember what abilities we have on you. So obviously we could start by just doing some flamer action this way, right? Uh, it's not going to get everybody, but it'll get three of them. Let's throw that out. Uh, we didn't get much out of that, if I'm honest. But that's okay. We'll go ahead with you shot on the run. And I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm just going to go ahead and flip to this. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop a burst out there. Wow, our shooting is terrible. Well, we rolled a 74 and a 94. Okay, I'm not quite sure why our attacking is so terrible. Like, we have this, but it shouldn't affect our hit. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm not really sure why our, our hit chances are so poor there, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get around it, or we won't, I guess. We're going to get a lot of these tossed in on us. All right. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead. Where am I going to put you? No cover there at all, huh? That says it's going to give us partial. What I'm trying to think about is using the plasma. Or the melta, excuse me. If I go to here... Only gives us cover against that guy, realistically. But can we get a couple people on that? Yes. There we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to his hammer. And now I'm going to charge. I can't get to you. Can I get to you? No. Oh, I screwed that up. I need to be one closer. How about to you? No. Now, I can still just charge. It doesn't have to be right, added to target. Um, I have line of sight to that. Uh, that is a little bit annoying that it tells you there's no line of sight. I clearly do. Um, but I'll just... I'm not, I'm not interested. Interested. It thinks good. all of that is not line of sight. Someone Someone else else this. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead still. No, probably not. That doesn't look useful to me. Indeed. We'll go with that. Uh, I think we'll have one. Nope, we won't have one more. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move you where? Um, you do have a dash. What if I put you here? And then I dash you to here. And then... What do I have for a secondary weapon on this? Regular... Let's peek out and see if we can hit this guy. There we go. That was a little bit better. Um, gains two movement points. Does not count. Do I have action points left? I would have action points left. If I can just take the shot there. There we go. There we go. All right. That worked. All right. Now you. Um... Hmm. I think I'm going to put you here. I'm going to use a grenade. Hmm. Guess we'll go right to there. And that got us Shadow Quarters disease for whatever that's worth. All right, objective secured. Uh, captured one turn, first successful attack on an alley within that does not spend AP or trigger weapon cooldowns. Um, you know what, I'll just go ahead and put it up over here. So kind of anybody over there. Uh, and then I'm going to... Do I want to give somebody else a move? I'm going to put him up to there. Now he's got it from running through that, I guess. Oh, well, it is what it is. All right. Um, and I think 
Plus two to rate of fire. Can I get all of us? No, but I can get her anyway. I think that'll be useful. Okay. Cassia. Um, I'm just going to kind of walk you up to here. Um, I could grenade. So I can get two people with the grenade. It's funny, on my private save, I almost never used grenades. I got so many of them piled up because I just don't use them. And on this save, I've used a lot. Target ally immediately gains a bonus turn um, with no movement points. Uh, okay. So what if we go to... Oh, you're out. I guess I can give it to you. Okay. Uh, what do I have for my secondary weapon here? Oh, the Shuriken Catapult. I like this a lot. Um, but probably not what I want to use it here. Oh, it didn't give me a wet attack with it, did it? Um, just try to pop that guy off. Ah, oh, we hit the cover. Damn it. See, this one doesn't even... Uh, it didn't even tell us. It just says miss. No damage to mutant. Um, so it didn't even give us our rolls. Nothing. They're, so they're really, really inconsistent with this. I wish they'd get better about that, because... I want to see a full breakdown. I want to see what um, like what skill applied to that. Okay, so they're this distance, so it's a range of this. That means the attack needs to be this. But they have this cover, this armor. They've got this skill that's affecting it, whereas you've got this skill affecting it. And the same for damage, because I can't tell you if it's working or if there's bugs unless you actually tell me what the numbers are supposed to be. Now, we know on skill checks that there are problems, that, that you can roll a miss and it will success it will succeed or you can roll a success and it will fail i can't do that with these because they don't give me they don't break down the numbers very well and in this case it just said hey you hit cover and didn't even tell us what our cover roll was whereas last time we looked we got a cover roll so that's one of my small bitches at the moment and again okay well well what happened here right Rolled nine, but you didn't, I guess that's just the, see, we've got these, but it says the mutant infector, which is the character did damage. How did he do damage? He didn't make a hit roll. He didn't make a damage roll that I know of. I guess it's just the disease. Um, all right. Um, what if, Oh, I only have that. I forgot which weapon I had. Um, can I get a grenade over here? No, I can go to there as far. I'd like to go right there. Because I think that'll get four dudes. Whereas this will get three dudes. Oh, wait, so, whoops, hold on. I hit the wrong button. So I'm going to go ahead and just walk you to here. And drop that right there. I think that worked. Um, the target adept gains doubling effects to study target. I'm going to go to... Yeah, I guess that gives us a lot. Let's toss that. And I'll give it to... Oh, I can't. I can only get it against one person. Okay. All right, I'm not 100% sure how this works yet. Uh, applying study the target. Okay, so to give me the bonus bonuses to that, that's fine. I'm not going to shoot anybody for a little while, so not going to matter. Um, let's switch back over to here. Um, I'm going to go ahead first. I'm going to step to here. Now I'm going to go here. I'm going to take a shot, 78%. There we go. Let's go to go all the way down here and see what, what it told us now. So here it broke it down somewhat for us. It gave us our rolls anyway. Okay, now I'm going to get a second shot on the run. Um, I've already got the disease, so I'm not as worried about that. How many guys are there left? Not many. 
I'm gonna go to take another shot at this guy. Miss, but now we've got this. And now I'll get a bunch more shots. Don't need it. All right. Let's go and get everybody up to here for the moment. Uh, we got this guy. Is she going to rock around? Good. What do we get? Uh, I don't think there's anything cool in any of this, so we're just going to pack all that as cargo. We'll go over here. Pack as cargo. I don't think these go away. So I'm just going to walk this way and go. I think I tiptoed around them with my private save and did not matter in the slightest. Um, what do we got going on over here? Lore Imperium. Uh, appears to be birth marked deaths inhabitants. All right. There's no one to add the last entry here. Well, that is true because we kind of wiped everybody else out. What do we get? Uh, stims. Two movement points and two AP. That's pretty good. Um, more strength, more weapon, minus to willpower. Okay. We'll put that in there. Let's go ahead and take a look see what we got going on on some of our characters here. Um, You've got all grenades. I'm going to take one off. I'm going to go ahead and give you this. I don't know that how often we use it. I haven't been great about using stims. What does this one do? Uh, movement points. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that one. So I'm going to give you a grenade. And also one of those. So we've got a frag and a crack grenade. All right. You, uh, I think extra strength and weapon skills probably is decent for you. What was this one? What was this the two? Oh, I like that too, though. I'm going to swap. Let's go there. Um, I'm okay with that. Which one do you have? Yeah, I, again, I'm not a fan of that. Let's go for, um... Let's go for that for you. I think that'll be fine. And what do you have? Okay, good enough. Good enough. All right, so we came in that way. Check that. I don't think there's anything else to do here, if I'm honest. I think this was it. No, no, go. Never mind. Just go through the poison and then walk that way and then go back through the poison. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got going on. We got some more goods here. I, I don't think there's much more to do here, honestly. Or at least I haven't found much more to do here other than that. Um, I haven't been able to get into here yet. And I have tried. Um, now, there, obviously, there are all these clues. You guys probably remember. I think I looked at all of them before. Where it looks like somebody was, was walking along here, right? Um, we do have a logic here. Oh, is this the... This is this. Ah, okay. Hold on. Well, let's go F5. That's the elevator up and down. And we failed. Let's see how it went. We rolled a 79, we needed a 75. Okay. Uh, do we have a machine right set? I think we do. Uh, we shouldn't have failed it with that, though. That, I think, is a bug. I mean, that's the whole point of using it. Access received, access denied. Let's see if somebody else can pass the test. All right, I'm going to F8 this real fast. We'll reload real quick, and then we'll try it again. Um, using the machine right should just pass it for us. I mean, it's it's essentially the lock pick, right? Um, we can either use the consumable to get access to it, which is what that was, or we can make the logic check and see if we can do it without. We failed the logic check, fair enough, but we shouldn't fail the machine right test. So let's go ahead and give it a go, and if it doesn't work this time, then... Um, uh, I'm going to, uh, in fact, I'm just going to start with it. Let's just try the machine right test. 
Now here we got a lost item machine right test. But it still failed it for us, right? And now it's not giving her a roll at all. They fear to look at me because of my appearance. Let's I try it this way. Let's try picking one person to see if we'll get it right. Souls. Nope. Sometimes you consult the appropriate treaties on Tactica Imperialis and weigh hmm. every step. Nope. Sometimes, though, you just fire your biggest cannon and save the day. All right, I'm going to do this again. Uh, well, hold on. Let's just go. I think if you hold over, it should tell it should tell them in their deal what it does. Uh, using the machine right. What is it called? Machine right. Pack? What was that? What the heck's it called? Machine right set. Uh, uh, does not work on this uh, cogitator. Is that a cogitator? I think it's a cogitator. Uh, you you get a message sometimes that you are set. Twelve seconds later, still denies access. One time. Granted access, and then instantly followed with a second message saying access was denied. All right, let's go ahead and send that. I have sent quite a few bug fixes, not a lot. Well, I mean, I say not a lot. I've probably spent 25 now at this point. Um, anyway, it'd be nice if we get that to work, but it is what it is. Um, it's just a time savings. Uh, I don't think there's anything else up here for us to do. I don't think I've missed anything else. Can we get in there? No. Okay. Uh, I think that's that. All right, I'll be back when uh, I get us back someplace to do something. I did uh, figure out how to open this. Um, there's a note that one of the bodies has on it um, that gives you some clues and tells you what these codes should be. Um, I don't remember what they are off the top of my head, and apparently I've tossed the message. Uh, but there is a message in this zone that gives you a page, um, and I believe it comes off of a body that's over here. Um, and it tells you what to do, more or less. I mean, there's clues. You have to go figure out the clues, and it tells you the, the code. Um, anyway, I don't, I don't remember what it is off the top of my head, but it is there. Um, all right. The other thing I want to do is I want to make a trade deal. Now, I have had some problems selling stuff. I think we saw some of that where you can sell stuff to one person, but then you go to the next person won't. Also, there's some items that you could sell that it won't let you sell, um, like plasma batteries. Um uh, you can see there. Nope. Now, it doesn't have an X next to it, which probably tells you what stuff they want and which they don't. Um, and I just noticed that just now. Um, so they want stuff that's got that. They don't want stuff that has this. Um, but on the other hand, this does not have an X next to it. And you see he'll give us points for it. So um, I don't know. Uh, those Xs actually probably just mean... Well, I was going to say... They mean there's not enough, but I don't have an X here on the trans uranium elements, and those also um, aren't full. But this one is. This one has an X, this one doesn't. So I don't really know how all of this is supposed to work, if I'm honest. Um, now, we could give these points to this guy. Um, I'm not really all that worried about it. What I really want to do is buy some of these. I've only got 15 points, so we can only buy one of them now. Um, but we do run out, and they are expensive, so it's silly to leave the base. Um, when you still have some of those to sell. So, or when you still have points, in my opinion. So let's go hop out and see where we want to go in the galaxy. All right, Secrets of the Cult. Let's go ahead. We have this skill still. Let's go ahead and talk to Heinrichs about Cult of the Final Dawn real quick. 
Um, where is he? He's right over here. Um, you want to discuss the nature of your mission? Yes, but not here. All right, we'll go to the bridge. Or we'll go from the bridge. We'll go to our, our quarters is what I'm trying to say. We'll leave the bridge <laughs> and we'll go in here. All right, thank you for finding an opportunity to talk. I trust now would be a good time to explain the reason for my return aboard your ship. Um, uh, yeah, well, we want to, we were a commissar. I want a chance to assist the Inquisition with its inquiries. Um, your enthusiasm is commendable. All right. To business then, the cult of the final dawn. The madmen preach their heretical doctrine among the denizens of the Cronus Expanse and instigate cr crimes against the throne and humanity. One such crime took place in your trade empire. The Lord Inquisitor considered it necessary to have one of his acolytes accompany the rogue trader on a voyage into the corrupted region. I also need to meet with one of my observers in the capital world of your trade empire. Um, a chaos cult in my trade empire? Are you laying an accusation against my dynasty? Uh, chaos treads softly, rogue trader. The main danger of secret cults and sects is that they are like seeds. They can remain in the ground for decades, safe from all scrutiny, uh, until an opportunity to sprout, grow, and bear monstrous fruit presents itself. The emergence of a cult on one of the rogue trader's planets does not mean the dynasty had himself as a chaos worshiper. Having said that, it should be noted that Theodora von Valencius was famous for her loose interpretation of the freedoms granted by the warrant. Uh, bloodline can be stained by ancestral transgressions. If it is indeed so, it is your best interest to do whatever uh, necessary to redeem yourself, and then perhaps you'll get a chance to salvage your dynasty's reputation. Um, you have spies on the Von Valencius worlds. A uh, person I mentioned is not a spy, but a secretary in the administrative department under Dargonis. Uh, the planet's governor and Theodore were fully aware of his status. His duty is to fulfill the sacred oath to the Golden Throne and eliminate threats to the Imperium, which the Cronus Expanse has in abundance. Uh, his name is uh, uh, Achilles. Achilles? I can go with Achilles. Uh, that A, I think, changes it. Scalander. As soon as we uh, contact our uh, as soon as we contact our Gonus, I introduce you as the new head of the dynasty. I'm sure you will appreciate the presence of your uh, such an advisor among your subjects, and I suggest you use words occasionally. Uh, we have any more about the cult? They're chaos worshippers. Most often agents of the throne run into lone renegades stirring up rabble, insane prophets and hysteric visionaries preaching the end of days, a passing common, a mutant rebellion, a whole new series ending Warhammer fantasy. The onslaught of monsters. Each time they come up with a new reason why people should prostrate themselves and quiver in fear, much effort and blood of those loyal to the golden throne uh, were spent before we established a connection between those two heretics. However, cult of the final dawn is something greater than a gaggle of misguided seers and fortune tellers. They cleverly spread their agents all over the Cronus Expanse, disseminating heresy among the honest people of the Imperial worlds. There is a certain strategy to their actions that changes whenever we get too close. And finally, they have enough military power to have had two ships that we sent after them later discovered as wreckage. Well, maybe they're unable to upgrade those ships like we are. Um, the growing difficulty of making the warp jumps is detrimental to us, but unlikely to inconvenience those who engage in vile sorcery day in and day out. After the events on Rykab and Norris, I suspect the cult might have built its nest inside Winterscale's domain, but the latest reports indicate it's your trade empire that is harboring heretics. Uh, being in your entourage improves my chance of getting closer. All right, uh, I gave you a spot. Anything else? Uh, delivery to the system that contains the industrial world of Kiavagama. I will then accompany you to the surface and determine what the cult is planning and how it intends to use the resources that have fallen into the clutches, which may well include the blessed engines of the Deptus Mechanicus and even followers on beside themselves. Continue. All right, I will be frank. The answer to the question is unlikely to please either of us. Machinations of chaos usually go beyond solely inflicting countless deaths and destruction. Having their plans come to fruition could lead to far more terrible consequences. One of the systems the Cronus Expanse has already lost. May the Emperor protect us from watching this tragedy play out again. Um, we met a Chaos Marine in Rykod. We, we didn't because we didn't play that, but that's in Chapter 1, apparently. Uh, I have no doubt it'll happen sooner or later. Chaos Marine siding with the cult is very, very bad news. Most likely they'll be, uh, they kept away until recently, pulling their puppet strings from respectable distance. These traders seldom show up alone. Best we can count on us having to deal with just a squad of Chaos Space Marines in the Cronus Expanse and not an entire company. Uh, why did your submission fall on Kiavagama? Uh, disjointed pieces of data that finally merged into a single picture. Additionally, not long ago, a vessel from that world arrived at footfall. The reports of the crew were confusing and alarming. Make me for a while. Oh, we saw them. Um, they were the ones that the priest stepped in to protect, uh, or try to protect, uh, making me for a planet-wide rebellion. Um, 
this one kind of spoileries what happened in the first bit that we haven't played yet, so I'm going to kind of skip it. We'll just go to there. Um, I guess we have to ask it. I'm going to ask it, but I'm going to cut. <laughs> All right. So now, is he in here? Um, okay. I don't know where he went. Feels like we were just talking to ourselves. Maybe we have fallen to chaos. All right, back to the bridge. Spin around, spin around, spin around. Let's go jump somewhere. Okay. One more button. So we need to go up this direction. Um, eventually, I want to say this Valencius. One of these has our might be this one has our our base on it, I think. Now, in theory, you could chart a course. If we had three, we could use Navigator's Insight and go there, but we don't. So I'm just gonna kinda pop up to here. Um, let's accept real fast. I don't think there's anything I can do, but let's go ahead quickly and check our colony and see if we can do anything there. We'll check our two colonies and then we'll probably end this episode. Um, I think we're, we're over 30 anyway. See how that gets us. All right, I don't think there's anything we can do, but, uh, oh, we might be able to. Uh, maybe not here. We need more Promethean, we need more faction, we need more chemicals. Okay. So not chemicals would be nice. All right, nothing there. All right, let's go ahead and we'll hop up to the next one. Cure for Sloth. All right, I already got that one. That was the one I was thinking that was doable early. Uh, and again, we just need we just need faction for a lot of these. Um, yep. All right, I'm going to go ahead and back out of that. So the question is, where are we going next? Um, we can go up here and maybe check to see what's in those. Um, looks like we've already done all of that. I haven't been there yet. Let's go to here. Let's go to our Solio prop. Now, this one is dangerous, so it's likely to have a fight. Um, so I'm going to end this episode here. So we'll come back next time because I don't have the points to lower this. So what happens, what I'm, I'm finding happens if it's if it's light yellow like this, um, your ship takes a little bit of damage, you get a little bit of message. If it's dark yellow, I usually get a fight of some sort. Uh, and if it's red, I also generally get a fight of some sort. Have I done a red? I might not have done a red, if I'm honest. Um, I don't remember if I've done red or not, but yellow definitely gets, usually gets me a fight. Um, now, usually a fight on the ship I had one where I had to kill the entire bridge crew and some stuff like that. Um, so there is that. Uh, we could potentially also get jumped by pirates or something like that, I believe. Um, I th think we've seen that on this save, maybe, where we had to do a space battle. Now, I've got it better at space battles, but it, we still, again, can't upgrade the ship. So my skill isn't, isn't enough to overcome a lot of stuff. But we'll be back next time. We'll uh, try jumping over here to the Orcelio Prophecy, um, and we'll see how that goes. So thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Cheers.